Hello. Today we'll go over how to create a map with Bezier curves. A Bezier curve is a parametric curve that's very smooth. In this tutorial, we'll use the Mapbox Bezier drawing tool to create the lines and Mapbox Studio to style them on a map. Let's get started. Let's jump into the Bezier drawing tool. To differentiate different actions, use the left panel to click which action you'd like to do. So to pan and zoom into the map, to draw on the map, and then to edit the line. There's a few more actions that you can explore. So I recommend going through all of them just to get your line exactly the way you want. Let's draw a route from Iceland to the Strait of Gibraltar. To do this, I'll click on the pen tool and click where Iceland is. Then I want to make this line kind of curvy. So when I click, I'm going to keep dragging the line. You can kind of style and angle this any way that you want. You can see the line moves in real time. And when you're done, you can click a final point. Now this line isn't quite what I want it to be. So I'm going to use the edit tool to edit my line. So I'll click on the line and then this allows me to switch anchor points. If you've used a program similar to Adobe, then you might be a little bit more familiar with how these curves work. So this is a little bit tight. You can keep going and be as uh, meticulous as you want about this. I think that this looks quite okay to me. And next, I'm going to press Export GeoJSON. And then I want to save this as route.json is actually quite fine with me. And I'll click Save. Now we'll hop into Mapbox Studio. Here we can create a new style. I want to use the monochrome style and we can pick golden to kind of give a little bit of a vintage effect. And we'll click Customize Monochrome. To add our data, we'll click on Layers. Then we'll click this Add New Layer button. Over here in the panel, we'll click Upload Data and we'll go into Finder, look for our route JSON and upload it to Mapbox Studio by dragging and dropping it in. Once it's uploaded, you can click Confirm to start the upload and process from transferring the data from JSON into our tile set. Once your data has successfully uploaded, you can search for it in the filter bar. We'll click on it to add it, and then we'll click Style. And here we can start to change kind of what the line actually looks like. So the first thing I want to do is I actually want to make this line white. So it's still a little bit too thin to see on this yellow background. So let's try and increase the width. Let's go from one to two. That's a bit clearer to see. Now the next things I want to do are change the cap and the join. The cap is the both of the ends of this line and I want to change it to be rounded out. And with the joins, that's um, as each segment joins with each other, I want to round that as well. Now it doesn't make very large impacts because we're still a bit zoomed out. If you were to look closer into the line, you can definitely see how those changes have impacted the line. Next, I want to add a dash array by clicking dash array, add dash with gap. A dash is going to be the length of the line and the gap will be the space in between the line. So let's try five pixels for the dash and six pixels for the gap. Now I still think this yellow is a little bit too strong um, with the white. So let's go into components and click the base color and we can turn this down a bit. You can X out of that. Once you're happy with your map style, you can click publish in the top right corner. Now you can click share. And with this link, you can start sharing your map out or you can start building it inside of your application with the style URL and access token. Have fun and happy mapping.